Kathy Dawn. She's been a former fraternity champion. She knows what it's like to ride down there riding Royal Fletch. Well, now, Royal Fletch, talking about your breeding, Royal Fletch is by, look at this cow, she's really working on Oh! It. Royal Fletch is by the great horse, J-Bar Fletch, who was a world champion open horse and a world champion non-pro horse, and out of a dual pet mare that's out of that great producing mare, Royal Blue Boom. So you talk about breeding, this horse is carrying the bloodline. You know, we talked to Kathy earlier in the week. She said she, she had literally put everything on hold so that she could buy the mother. She felt that confident with crossing this with J-Bar Fletch. I even had a chance to ask her about the draw. You know what? Gary Belafonte won this fraternity last in the first bunch, which everybody says is the worst draw. So I don't think the draw really matters. I think when it's going to work for you, it unfolds, and you can't help it. You can't stop the momentum, and you can't create it. It just happens. Well, she's right about that. Look at this. It's happening for her. Boy. Wow. Chubby, did you mention that she's won a little over $2 million wow. in lifetime earnings? She's That's a lot of money. It. She's going <laughs> to add to it right here. Man, you, she mentioned earlier in that first little insert that she had there about picking the right cows. She said having two or three, she's already had two. If she can finish this with three, I believe she's going to get fair. Look at this. Everything's in the middle. Well, her face is so intense. She knows she's putting a run together. She's as good as there is about picking good cattle, too, Kathy Donnett. Look at this horse. Now, this horse reminds me of the great J.R. Fletch. So I'm He's telling you, a lot looks like a his lot daddy. like him. Oh, oh. I'm, a, I'm, I'm worried about the score here. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, that was a sensational run. I don't know if I've ever seen a better run in this Coliseum. I don't think so either. We've talked about the field of these what horses. Do they do here? 229. Oh, You've just seen a record broke right there, Chubby. What was the previous high school? 1997, some kind of memories, and Mike Mallory at 226. Wow. She just set a record. Way to go, Kathy Dunn. Oh, boy. Congratulations to Kathy. Welcome back to the NCHA Fraternity, where we've seen one of the most exciting finals ever. And here's Shelly with our champion. History in the making right here at the Fraternity in the Open Finals, a score of 229. That has never happened, but tonight Kathy Dawn did just that with Royal Fletch, and you did it in 1985. Does it feel a little different? Uh, you know, the first time, you can't ever look back over the first time. The first time was unbelievable on a horse that I, one of the first horses I'd ever trained. But this is so special to me because I bought his mare. I went in debt up past my eyeballs and spent 67000 for him, borrowed the money, and, um, and raised this colt by what I think is the greatest horse in the world, J-Bar Fletch, and it's so special to me. And Kit Moncrief, who's been such a great supporter of me for so many years, we partnered up on this deal, and, and it's just a great thing for her and a great thing for me. And he's a fabulous horse and been fabulous to train from the beginning. Kathy Don, congratulations. That's your open champion. Thank well, congratulations, Kathy. Of course, with that record-setting run of a 229 on Royal Fletch, second just a smart peanut in Fahrenheit Tower with a 224 and a half, third, of course, was Matt Gaines with the 23, and then you see the rest of the field as they came out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as little Alex Morris leads his father, Craig, off into the sunset, we'll see you again at the Super Stakes.